Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. And wouldn't you know it, we're heading back to Cornwall once again to a company that I've not actually heard of before. I'm assuming that it's sort of more localised around the Cornwall area. However, they do have an incentive that I very much can get behind. Today, I'm with Wasted Apple Company in Cornwall, and I am trying a can of their handcrafted medium dry Cornish cider. Uh, so, yeah, I've never heard of these guys before at all. I don't even know if they have any more ranges. Um, they have a website, so uh, you can go and check that out, wastedapple.co.uk. Um, but yeah, I just saw this in a local bottle shop while I was visiting Cornwall and I thought, you know what, I've never heard of them before, I might as well give them a go. Uh, so they are based in St Austell in Cornwall, so you know, quite a, a well-known place and obviously the St Austell Brewery is there. Uh, but yeah, never heard of these guys. Comes in 330ml cans, any other ranges will be in the description as usual and this comes in at a rather respectable 6% ABV. Now, this is a handcrafted Cornish cider with sweetener so, you know, uh, this cider was produced from the fresh juice of apples harvested in Cornwall. Uh, contains sulfites, natural and not filtered. This cider is can conditioned. There is a live sediment which continues to develop and mature the flavour and character. Serve cool, pour gently. Store upright and pour gently to avoid disturbing the sediment. Or you could pour it in. You know, um, it's all personal preference, really, isn't it? Um, we, but the main incentive is uh, this here. We pick wasted Cornish apples from trees where people cannot use some or all of the apples. With skill, dedication and time, we turn them into handsome cider. Try some. It all started when I asked a neighbour what he did with all the apples in this orchard. He replied, we eat some, give some away, but there are far too many. I couldn't see them go to waste, and in that moment, the Wasted Apple Co. Craft Cidery was born, um, says Mark Rudge. And, uh, well, there's his, uh, there's his little face right there. There's, there's old Mark, the old founder of Wasted Apple Co. But yeah, what a cool incentive. Basically, use apples that are otherwise going to just be wasted and turn them into, hopefully, really tasty cider. So, waste no more time. Let's get this cracked open. Now, what I will say is that the date on this... Contain, the fact that it contains sulfites is um, quite a lot. July 2023, and I got this, I think it was beginning of last year, so yeah, it had quite a long date on it. So there we go. I mean, it says porcelain. I mean, if some sediment goes in, I don't mind. You know me, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I don't mind a bit of sediment. It shows it's more natural and stuff, so, um, so there we go. Now, funnily enough, I can't actually see any sediment in there at all, but, you know, I suppose they have to put it on there just in case. So, here we go. Colour-wise, I mean, um, fairly hefty carbonation there, I would say. Um, but, yeah, nice, nice colour there. I would say light gold, light golden colour, borderline straw like there. A little bit of haziness, not completely opaque, but, yep, definitely... A little bit of translucency going on in there, so yep, definitely no filtering on. What does it smell like? Ah. Sulfites, mainly. Yeah, that's, uh, that is just, that's just smelling eggy. Do you know what, I'm not, I'm not surprised really, considering how long the date is on it. I'm not surprised they just smells of sulfites. They probably um, put loads of them in. Yeah, I'm really not getting, really not getting. Maybe a slight, maybe a slight funkiness there. But yeah, it's, it's mostly sulfites. So I'm hoping it tastes better than it smells. But let's find out. Cheers, everyone. Is this one to watch out for in Cornwall? Let's find out. Ooh. Oh, so that tastes boozy. Mmm. Really acidic. Really acidic and sharp. Kind of surprising um, for a cider that's come from the West Country. That's really sharp. On the back end, though, I am getting an oaky, earthy aftertaste, which is kind of more customary for West Country ciders. They tend to have 
that sort of thing. But yeah, that, uh, that sharpness initially really did throw me for a loop. There's a hint of sweetness, hint of sweetness just there, but that's from the sweetness that have been added in rather than like a natural uh, sweetness. Although I haven't said that, you know, apples, you know, they kind of lose their sugar when they're fermented. So any sweetness that goes into a cider is sort of not natural, but you know, that's another discussion entirely. Um, hmm. It's not bad. It's not bad. There's just, there's something that's not marrying very well for me in this one. Hmm. Yeah, it's um, it's 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 almost the sharpness is almost borderline sour, which I'm not too keen on when it comes to ciders. Um. Aside from that oaky, that's that oaky earthy aftertaste, which is lingering slightly, not much else going on in the aftertaste. Like initial boom sharpness, and then sort of that's it. But got a nice full body behind it, so you know that's got that going for it. Um, you know what? It's it's okay. It's it's nothing. It's nothing. You know, mind blowing for me. But. Some I can see some people liking this, and I can see other people's opinions just being really like turning their nose up in it and everything. Um, mm, tricky one. Let's get a final taste for a final verdict. Hmm. Yeah, it's almost. Um, it's almost there, but there's just something not quite balanced about it, and I can't really quite put my finger on it. But, yeah, I mean, the tastes that are there are nice. I, th I think for me is that it is just that little bit too sharp, a little bit too acidic, for my personal preference anyway. I mean, I like dry, sharp ciders and everything. But, um, but yeah, just something not quite right with this one. As I said, I can see... A lot of people enjoying this. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for it. I know it was a fair bit. I can't remember exact the exact amount, but yeah, it wasn't cheap. Um, but hey, I think the best thing you can do with this uh, particular cider is just give it a go yourself and just see what you make of it. Um, so, I mean, with that said, the flavours that are there aren't horrendous. They're not bad tasting. Just as something a little bit little bit not melding with me shall we say uh, so with that said I am gonna go and give wasted apples medium dry a 6 out of 10 um, yeah, just it's a perfectly acceptable cider just doesn't really sit well with my palate unfortunately so there we go that's another episode of the cider drink for you guys it's sort of turning into the Cornish cider drinker at the moment isn't it but there you go that's the way it rolls I hope you liked it and as usual I'll be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon till then I will still go and finish this one off because, well, I hate to see it go to waste. Take care, guys. Till next time.